last class, one of the important things we looked at was the ethical decision making procedure, which you're going to use for your midterm assignment. Okay, and also hopefully you will use in the real life. Okay, when you have to make a decision, important decision, and you want to make the right ethical decision. So we get the facts, identify the stakeholders, identify the stakeholder claims, think about the long-term consequences, identify the obligations, consider our character and integrity, creatively about potential actions, find an argument to support our decision. So we follow those eight steps. We also talked about continual improvement, which is generally management practice, not just for ethics. Okay, how to make continual improvement system. We said that uh, we need to have audits, feedback systems, and a system of like five whys to make if something wrong happens, we have to take corrective action. So a system of corrective action. Asking why, 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 correcting the action, and then having some review by the top managers. So the last time we, we just briefly started talking about the importance of leadership and the difference that leadership can make. So we want, we have a goal or objective, okay, and we want to reach the goal, but we want to have everybody working together. Do you understand working together? So some people are working on a different goal or a different mission, then it's not going to work well, right? If everybody is working together on the same goal, the goal is clear. We have a clear goal. Okay, we agree on the goal. We all want to get this goal. Okay? So we also we're motivated. We all want to get the goal, and we have the right kind of leadership, then we can achieve the goal. So we have different types of leadership. We'll also discuss when we talk about corporate governance. We have a cosmopolitan leadership model, which is related with these words. Inquisitiveness, curiosity is inquisitiveness, learning, critical reflection, Giving people a sense of belonging and purpose, so feel like they belong to the organization. And mutual recognition and interdependence. We need each other, and we recognize that we need each other to succeed. Transformative leadership model. He's, this person we were looking at more here in this system. We convey an overreaching sense of purpose. Is like making the vision statement. Okay? Overreaching sense of purpose means there is a bigger thing that we're aiming for. Overreaching means bigger thing. So we make a vision or sense of purpose. Okay? Uh, acts with the utmost integrity and serves as a role model. So the leader is giving, leading by example. Okay? Uh, they promote the individual intellectual stimulation. So it means that they, they want all of their team members to be uh, interested in their job. Okay? So we will let the people's creativity have some freedom for people's creativity. Other types of leaders, uh, co coercive leaders. Coercive means that I use some punishment. Do you understand punishment? Yeah. So if I coerce somebody, it means that if you don't do this, I will do something bad against you. Authoritative leaders, just they're, they think they're very powerful and that you should do what they say. Democratic leaders always try to make the decision democratically. People can choose. Pace-setting leaders, the leader is like running very fast. They're working very hard, and they expect the other people to follow. Coaching leader. Coaching leader is teaching the people about what to do. 
Different leadership styles are appropriate in different situations. In the military, what kind of leadership style is appropriate? Authoritative leaders, right? You don't really want a democratic leader in the army. It takes slow to make a decision. Okay. So it depends on leadership style. It can also depend on the situation, but also the people. So we'll talk a bit more about leadership in during the corporate governance. So when we have some conflict, we have two types of actions we can take: strategic action or communicative action. So we're just putting things in different boxes. We can use some strategy or we can communicate. So strategy includes here inducement or threat. So in English we often say the carrot and stick approach. Do you have that in your language, carrot and stick? Have you got this saying? In the old days there used to be the donkey. Do you understand donkey? Donkey? My art is very good. <laughs> Is that a donkey? Hmm? Does that look like a donkey? Hmm? Looks like a dog. Anyway, we have a choice. We can give the donkey the carrot and it will move forward. Okay? Or we can hit the donkey with the stick. Which do you prefer? Give the donkey a carrot or hit it with the stick? Which is better? Both? So that's what strategic action is, right? Inducements, we can use inducements or threats, or inducements and threats. Do you watch, do you know there is a, a program called Breaking Bad? It was one of the very famous TV programs in the US. Do you know that program? Breaking Bad? No. In that kind of program, they use a lot of inducement and threats. Because they're in some illegal, especially in some illegal business, they use that kind of thing. Okay? So that's called paradigm stick approach. So that's one way we can deal with conflict conflict. Problem with this, it can damage our sense of solidarity, of working together. Solidarity means working together and look feeling as equals. And integrity. Communicative action. Attempts to reach mutual understanding, mutual means two people, and coordinate the behavior to make a collective agreement. We all agree. This can build a solidarity and integrity. So discuss with your partner. Which one do you use usually? If you have a conflict with somebody, which one do you use? Do you use strategic action? you try to threaten them or give them an inducement? Or do you use communicative action to try to reach the mutual understanding and discuss through discussion? Which one do you use? Do you have a conflict with your brother or sister or your mother or father, right? Or your friend? Do you understand conflict? Conflict is disagreement. Or your boyfriend or girlfriend? Then which one do you do? Which one do you use? Okay, so let's see a show of hands. 
Who usually uses this strategic action? Put up your hand. You usually use strategic action. Who usually use communicative action? Some people didn't put up their hand, but most people are using communicative action, right? The problem with strategic action is that it can damage the relationship, okay? Sometimes people use strategic action when the relationship is not important, okay? They just, it's a very short, just one time or that kind of thing. Or the relationship is very bad, so they, they might do that. Right? Or there's no reason for the people to be solidarity. So we should try to lean more towards this one, the communicative actions. And just a tip if you're in the relationship, I think this one works better. Okay? So if you use this one in the relationship, you can damage the relationship. If you threaten the people, then they can... If you get your own way too much, 100%, then the other person is not happy, right? For example, my sister, she's not going to watch the video, right? <laughs> so my older sister, she used uh, inducements or threats. I remember when she was 24, she already graduated from the university. My brother was just 14. She wanted to watch something on the TV, and he, he wanted to watch something else. So she was rolling on the floor, fighting, hitting my brother <laughs> together, fighting for the control for the TV. And I was just laughing. Why well, is this a 24-year-old woman <laughs> on the floor, fighting and very serious, hitting the 14-year-old boy? <laughs> just let him watch whatever he wants, right? But my sister did that kind of thing. And nowadays, I think, also with her husband, she does the same thing. <laughs> Use that system. It works well for her, right? But the problem is maybe her husband might not be happy if she always gets her way and he doesn't get anything he wants, right? Then she might not be happy later. But anyway, some people are happy just to be told what to do by other people. But generally, even in the relationship, the communicative action can help uh, to build a better sense of solidarity and integrity. Okay? When you talk to people, also there's a right time and a right place. It's good to talk to people in a quiet time, uh, away, not in front of the other people. Okay? If you look at the conference with Obama and the other leaders, you can often see them walking, going for a walk in the field or in the countryside. Right? They're walking together and talking in a very nice, quiet place. So the same in the workplace, if you have a problem with somebody, you shouldn't talk to them when they're very busy or in front of the other people. You find a nice quiet time and you can go for a walk together or sit down together with no pressure and in a quiet place and try to talk to each other to reach a mutual understanding and agreement. This one can work well. This one especially People use when they're in a hurry, right? They don't have much time. They might say, I don't have time to do all this, so just I'm going to give them some thing to make them do what I want, or threaten them. So when we are in a conversation with the other person in the communicative action, we should respect the other people. The ability to put yourself in the other person's shoes is an important communicative skill. What does that mean, to put yourself in order for a person's shoes? What do you think that means? Yes, think from their point of view. Okay? So you learned some English phrases today, right? Carrot and stick approach and put yourself in the other person's shoes. It means look from their eyes, think about it from their point of view. So ask them questions. Okay? When we're having conversation, we also need to think about other stakeholders who are not there, not just ourselves. Allow the other person to speak freely, speak truthfully, okay? find values and norms supported by all affected, and put them into practice. So discuss with your partner what happens if you want to use this kind of action, okay? 
but the other person wants to use this kind of action, what are you going to do? So you want to use this communicative action, but the other person doesn't agree, they're not going to talk to you, and they keep threatening you, or giving you an inducement. What are you going to do? Discuss with your partner. They don't want to talk to you. <laughs> they refuse to talk to you. <laughs> because probably they know maybe you're right. So they don't want to listen to your opinion. Just they want their way. They're not going to use communicative action to find the best way, the fairest way. They know it's not fair, but they want it to do it their way, even though it's not fair. And they're going to give you some threat or inducement. So what are you going to do? No, no, they don't. They're not going to talk to you. Try to talk to them, they leave the room. They know, because the reason is they know that what they want is not fair. So they're not going to talk about it because they know it's not fair. And if they talk about it, you're going to make some fair solution. And it's going to be clear that they're very unreasonable people. Right? So they don't want, they're not going to engage and talk about it. Just do my way, or else I'm going to threaten you and do this thing. What are you going to do? Just give up? I get my way? Huh? Give a present to the person? Maybe. Might, might change my attitude a little bit. One idea. Maybe I'll change my attitude a little bit. What kind of present would you give? Maybe it depends on the present. Hmm? What would you give me? Just socks? And throw in the bin? Doesn't matter. What kind of present? 
I saw on the TV program some Korean guys in Africa, they were giving socks. It's present, but I just throw in the bin if they give it to me. Maybe cultural difference. What present would you give? Expensive present. So I learned. I'm going to get. I'm going to do strategic action again the next time. I might get more presents. Maybe better than a watch next time. Anybody have any idea about what to do in that case? In your workplace, some person is using the strategic action. They're bullying you a little bit. Do you understand bullying? Gear up, hada. What are you going to do? Just give in and let them have their way. That's not fair for you. For example, they want you to do a project and they want you to stay late and finish the project. But you think you should work on the project together. It's not all your job, right? But they threaten you about that. They don't want to talk about it. What are you going to do? Just do everything and stay late and work hard? Because they threatened you? Any idea? Nobody has any idea? Hmm? No one has an idea? What about talking to the third person? Hey, we need to talk to the third person in that situation, okay? So me and her have a problem, I want to use the communicative action, she's using strategic action. Then we talk to the third person, boss, or in the relationship they have, counsellor, right? Counsellor in the relationship, and the counsellor or the boss tells them, listens to both people, okay? And then finds a reasonable solution, okay? And then we should both accept the solution. Do you understand? So, we try to talk to the people reasonably, but we shouldn't. There is the, of course, there is the risk that the person who uses strategic action can bully the person who's using communicative action, okay? So we should use the communicative action, but we also need to be strong. We can't be too weak, okay? So if we, if we are getting, find the other person is not dealing with us properly, we need to talk to the other person, a third person, okay? And not just give in. So we follow all of these uh, steps. So the best solution is conversation and debate. Making strong fact-based arguments and rhetoric. Okay? So we should have, we already talked about making an argument. So I tell you the facts, you tell me the facts. I tell you the facts, you tell me the facts. We agree on what is right and fair. Okay? Uh, the result of the conversation should be used for future ethical documentation. So we are having a debate about what's the ethical decision to make. Okay? They think do this, I think do this. So we make our arguments and we make a decision about the end. And then we can use this for future. Okay? It can be challenging to implement in practice. Like I said, some people don't want to do the communicative action, but it is an important stakeholder management ability. Sometimes strategic action could be needed. If the other person is not uh, doing communicative action, they're doing strategic action and there's no way, maybe no third person or other way, just as the last step, we might need to use strategic action ourselves. Okay? Uh, so, if you, one of, another important skill we'll talk about later for anybody in the job or who rises to CEO is a dis conversation and discussion technique is being, letting other people convince you. Let yourself be convinced. Okay? Do you understand this point? So if I'm talking to you, people have the psychological problem that we start talking about something, right? Arguing about something. And I don't give up my point of view. No matter what you say, you could tell me very reasonable facts, okay? But I, because I, I started on my point, I'm not going to give up now. Go chip hada, is that correct? 
Still burn? <coughs> so, uh, let's say we're talking about the wall, and you say the wall is cream, and I say, no, it's black. Okay? And then you show me very clearly that the wall is cream, but I don't change my mind. No, no, it's black. Okay? <coughs> Do you know any people like that? Older people, yes, in my family again, and my older sister, right? Never be, my mother is the same, never let themselves be convinced in an argument. Always, never change their mind, okay? No matter what you say, they don't change their mind. Don't let themselves be convinced, okay? So, again, they won't watch the video, don't worry. So, I won't get into trouble. Otherwise, I might. But I had that problem too, because it started from my family. So when I was younger, I had that problem. So I had to realize that I have to change, right? I can't just think that I'm always right and never change my mind. So if people have a very reasonable point or reasonable fact, I should be able to change my mind and say, oh, yes, I thought I was right, but actually, now that you said that, I can see that you make a very good point. So now I agree with you, okay? I changed my mind. That's an important point if you want to get to high in the company. You have to be able to accept what the other people tell you. And based on those facts, you have to be able to change your mind, right? And say, maybe I wasn't 100% correct, okay? Maybe your idea was better. Do you understand? Do you think you can do that? You can change your mind. You start off with one idea, and the other person tells you some good points, and then you change your mind. Are you able to do that? Tell the other person, yes, you're right, I was wrong. Are you able to do that? Hmm? Yes or no? Yes. yes? Right? You need to be able to do that, to have a proper discussion. Because if I just stay on my side, and you just stay on your side, and nobody allows their mind to be changed, we're never going to get anywhere. Okay? We're not going to be able to have a discussion. So we have to be able to put ourselves in the other person's shoes, and we have to. Be fair and allow our minds to be changed if that's, if that's the case. We don't know everything. So if there's a new fact or new information the other person knows, then we can change our mind. So in summary, there are intellectual and motivational limits to et ethical behavior. So we need an ethics program with the vision statement, with the code of conduct, okay, with the documentation with the systems and the processes, correct systems and processes, with the continual improvement. Okay? So an effective ethics program will create a culture to act with integrity using a systematic and process-oriented approach to intellectual and character development. <coughs> so, we already uh, discussed a couple of these questions. So let's discuss question three and question four. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's answer the question. So, uh, Kim Bom Sok, can you answer the question three? Yeah, I think Okay, so this is not just for business, but also if you have the personal relationship, I, in my opinion, it's, easy, it's easier to ha and better to have a relationship with somebody who used the communicative action. So, uh, OE Tech, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, I don't know if you have a girlfriend or not, but imagine you have a girlfriend and she tells you, I'm going out drinking soju with my friends all night, tonight. But I'll be back at 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe I'll come home at 5 o'clock, I don't want you to come, right, just with my girlfriends, right, we're going to Hongdae, I plan to get very drunk, okay, you don't want her to go out with her friends getting really drunk, what are you going to do, tell her, if you go there I'll break up, what are you going to do, what are you going to say? Do you understand the situation? <laughs> what are you going to say to her? I don't understand situation. Ah, yes. So your girlfriend is going to go out. She says she's going to drink a lot of soju with her friends in Hongdae, with all her friends together. I'm not saying that's wrong, right? I'm saying this is just an example. You don't like that. It makes you really unhappy. You're very conservative. Are you very conservative? Are you conservative? So just imagine, you are a conservative person, so you're not happy about that, right? She's your girlfriend and you think it's not good for her to go out and get really drunk until it's really late at night, okay? Maybe it's not safe. So what are you going to say to her? Are you going to tell her, you can go out with your friends if you want, but we're going to break up tomorrow. <laughs> if, you, if you go out with your friends, don't call me tomorrow, we're broken up. What are you going to say? <laughs> yeah, but she's not going to go home early. She says, no, I want, why would I go home early? I pretend I'm her. Why would I go home early? <laughs> I want to have fun with my friends. <laughs> what? Are you threatening me? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> wake up. <laughs> I can find a guy with no problem. What? I have a guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try again? <laughs> try again? <laughs> Just it's okay, just do nothing. Just say nothing, do nothing. 
Even though you're not happy, you feel very sad. Just say nothing. Hmm? Is that okay? No, if you just say nothing, then you're going to be very unhappy, and she's not going to be happy, it's not going to be good. Does anyone have a good suggestion? What should you do? If you have the same situation, what should you do? Hmm? What condition? Hmm? What condition? That's, that's strategic action. Conditions. Strategic action. Inducement or threat. Right? Hmm? How should we solve the problem? Any suggestion? Hmm? No suggestions? Huh? Carrot and stick? No, that's strategic action. We're not supposed to do that. Okay, this is usually a simple answer that we can use in a lot of situations, right? We can find the right time, maybe the right time is not then, but we can put up with that for one time. Then maybe on Sunday we go for a walk in the park, in a nice place with a lot of flowers, and we speak very nicely. Oh, you know that, smiling, right? You know that on Friday night you went out with your friends and you went, came back very late and very drunk. Then. You know that it makes me feel sad because I'm worried about whether you're safe or not. Okay? And then the other person can talk to understand. And then you can do the communicative action in that way. Okay? And try and find the right and fair agreement. Because it might not be fair. It's not fair that you get all your way 100%. Right? It's not fair for you to say, no, you can't go out with your friend until late. Right? But it might be that problem is you're worried that she's not safe or something like that, so you can find a creative way that she sends you some message or some picture, right? That kind of thing. Or she comes home at 2 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock. So if we talk about that on the communicative action on the Sunday, do you think it could work that way? Which way do you prefer? Telling her if you go out, we break up, or talking about it on the Sunday in the park? <coughs> talking about it changed your mind? What about you? Are you still going to do some condition? Huh? Are you going to do some condition, strategic action, or talk about it in the park on Sunday with the nice flowers and smiling? I think both ways are good. Both ways are good? Okay. <coughs> so, it's the same in the workplace, okay? We should try to find a quiet time, the right situation, Talk to the people smiling in a happy way and not a negative way. Try to find. If we can't find, if we can't find a solution, what are we going to do? Maybe we can't find any solution, right? Then maybe we have to find a way to either deal with the problem or break up, right? Anyway, you're just a university student, so you're okay. It's not the end of the world, right? <laughs> if we really can't find a uh, solution, right? But at least we should try. We should try to do that in a reasonable way, with the facts. So then, uh, the second question. Trey uh, Jin Young, what is the best way to solve conflict over an ethical decision? So you're in the workplace and two people have different opinions about what to do. How can we solve the conflict? Yes. And then they respect from each each opinion. Mm -hmm. And then we make a solution. Yes, good. Okay, what about if if you find the other person was right and you were wrong? What are you going to do? In the, after talking about it, you figure out, oh, maybe I was wrong and the other person was right. What are you going to do? Change their mind. Change their mind or change your mind? My mind. Right, change. Keep trying to change their mind or? <laughs> <laughs> Just to show that you were right. I won, right? I won. <laughs> the argument. Okay. Yeah, maybe you can win the arguments, but 
Nobody's going to want to work with you in the future, and then you won't move up in the company. Do you understand? Whereas sometimes you can lose strategically, right? Especially when the other person is right, and then people will respect you. They'll say, oh, he's a nice guy, right? I talked to Trey Chin Young, yes, he's very reasonable and nice guy, yes. I agree with his promotion. He accepted my point of view, okay? But you just keep your fighting with the other person and you won even though you were wrong. Then they're going to uh, say, no, 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 don't, no, fire him. Right? Don't, don't give him any promotion. So, <coughs> then let's move on to the next uh, part. So we're going to start talking about uh, moral philosophy. We briefly touched on <coughs> in the last class. So uh, we're going. First of all, we're going to discuss some moral dilemmas. So we can sit in a group. So actually. Uh, we can sit in our group, our group that we have for the teamwork. So sit together with your group and make kind of a circle so you're facing each other with the desks. Are you sitting with your group? So sit together with your group and turn around the desk so that you have four desks facing each other. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you some case you have to discuss with your partner. Okay? So the first case is this is a train line, train track, and the train track goes off here. Okay? There is a train on the track. The train is going this way. Okay, you are the driver of the train. Okay? So the train is going this way. Straight. And here there's uh, one person on the track. Sorry, there's five people on the track here. Can you imagine that situation? There are five people lying on the track. They're going to die. Like you can see in the Western movie, okay? Maybe they're hurt. And uh, here there is just one person. So, what are you going to do? Alright, the train is going this way, but you can turn the train this way. So, discuss with your group. Would you turn the train trolley down the side track? Why? <laughs> No stop, the train can't break this time. You can either just turn the train down this track or this track. You're going this way already. Right? You can just change the direction to go this way. I'm <laughs> 
Somebody, a bad person, tied them to the track to run with them. Okay, they tied five people here and they tied one person here. Okay, so uh, go so done. Yes, what do you think? You're going to turn the train, why? Why are you going to turn the train? More people here. Right, so you're thinking about consequences. You're thinking about, do you understand consequence? Consequences. Five versus one. Okay? So you're going to turn the. Aren't you afraid that it was because of your. This case, it's not because of your decision, it's just an accident, right? <coughs> But well, in this case, you make you do turning the train. You're the one who's turning the train to kill this person. Is that okay? Hmm? Anyway, you already decide, and they're already dead, right? So you have to decide. Okay. The next case is this time we have a bridge over the river. We have a, a train bridge. Okay. This train is moving. This time you are on the bridge. You are on the bridge here. Then there's a fat man on the bridge. Very fat man. Fat man here on the bridge. So this time you can push the fat man. The fat man could fall on the track. And the fat man will stop the train. And then five people will be saved. <laughs> so the train is coming. You are here. This is you on the bridge. Okay. You see the fat man. You're on the bridge here. The fat man is in front of you. You can see. Oh, the train is coming. Right. Five people could die. Push the fat guy over the. Push the fat guy over the bridge. Land on the track and save the five people. Because the train is just going to hit the fat man and then it's going to, it won't reach the white people. Do you understand the situation? So this is going to block the train. So what are you going to do? Discuss with your group. What are you going to do? Are you going to push the, the guy over the bridge or not? Do nothing or push the guy over the bridge? So we should be discussing in English, right? <laughs> 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 I'm 
Okay, so then let's have a show of hands. Hands up. So who says yes, push the guy off the bridge? Hands up. Who says no, don't push the guy off the bridge? Okay, so uh, I'm hearing. Yes, what did you decide to do? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, why? Because if I push the fat, then I can save the five people. Okay. Uh, one hear me. What did you decide to do? Uh, if I push the fan bed, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will be moderator. Yes. Uh, I think that five people have Destiny. <laughs> you don't want to interfere with destiny. So, what about if uh, somebody is drowning in the river and you're walking past? Are you going to help them or are you going to say, "Oh, it's their destiny"? <laughs> it's their destiny to die. Uh, Sorry, it's your destiny. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of out of sorry. <laughs> anyway, you're right. You're looking at the right, right side, right. The right or the wrong thing to do, right? But it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong to murder somebody. Right? So, can we say that some people say it's better? The consequence is better because we can save five people. And you rinse said, right? And you said, no, it's murder. Can we say that one person is definitely right and the other person is definitely wrong? Or just they have different moral philosophy? Which can we say? Hmm? Can we say she's, she's the only right answer and she's definitely wrong? Or she's definitely right and she's definitely wrong? Can we say that? No, we just, just they have different moral philosophies. Okay? She is thinking about the consequences. The best one is the one with the best consequences, and she's thinking about what's right or wrong. Okay, so then let's take a break now for 10 minutes. We'll continue with the discussion after the break. So, yeah. leave the desk. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>